name is Silvia Estrada Claudio, or Guy. I'm from the University of the Philippines Center for Women's Studies, which means I'm from the Philippines. Our research proposal is about working with uh, a youth group of Likaan. It's uh, also uh, the NGO, NGO I work very closely with. Uh, it's a sexual reproductive health and rights NGO. And we work with women and youth in 10 large slum areas uh, in Metro Manila and outside. And we are trying to pass a reproductive health bill. So what we'll try to do is have an online, but also print from that uh, some news articles. It's not going to be a newspaper. It can't be a magazine type, but really just news bulletins or analytical articles. So we'll train young people to be citizen reporters and journalists. We'll put the products on the website and we'll print it out and pass it around in our community. The reproductive health bill in the Philippines is on its ninth year of advocacy. It's experienced great opposition from the Catholic Church. Uh, and so it, it should be an exciting way of looking at ICTs and the social movement and how it can help uh, the social movement. In ter so, so in terms of citizenship, that's one part. Uh, how do we engage in legislative processes and make uh, our uh, representatives answerable to young people. Uh, the gender part is, is interesting also because youth is more a study in coalitional queer politics rather than just women's uh, feminist politics of you know the traditional old type that I'm more used to. Because our young people are of course uh, young men, young women, you have LGBT groups and other uh, other marginalizations within the youth group, but our youth groups are very active in um, campaigning for the reproductive health bill. And of course, the ICTs are, are already there because we will be trying also, interestingly, to work with both new and old forms and see how that might facilitate mobilization and activism. In our nine years of advocacy, for example, we started where we could not even get the bill read in the small step health committee. Then uh, one of our major victories about six years ago, or f I, yeah, six years ago was um, that the, it was passed uh, out of the committee. And at that time, the Catholic Church had pulled out all the stops, rallies, pastoral letters. And in this um, last Congress, the only way they stopped it was that they did not call for a vote. Because if they had called for a vote, the bill would have passed out of the lower house. So we're very help hopeful that the bill itself will be passed. And therefore, I'm even more excited because if that happens, then this project will have a very different face. And of course, if we're not able to pass, the project will still be very good, but it will have a different face. So this in itself is very interesting to me already. But we're also going to look into a methodology of um, having the young people document their own process so that the research report will not be uh, something that doesn't come from the very ground in which the report will be springing. So instead of us or anyone outside coming in and document, I think what we'll try to do as a methodology is just get young people, ourselves who engage with them in the project, to document and have our insights together. And this can be tied up again to ICT because this can be done through blogging uh, both blogging for the public and then blogging for yourself, which you can share with the public or, or each other. It's, how did it feel? Did I get irritated when I went to interview that Congress uh, person? Did that, is that how it feels to be lied to? You know, you can, you can get these, these things and, we'll, and that can be part of the process as well. I think it's re what's really important also for, for this isn't just the individual co country projects. It's how also even now at the beginning, we're building a community of femi feminist researchers along also very different, uh, I think, epistemological parameters in doing uh, research. Even if we insist on rigidity, we insist on, on correctness and ethics, Yet, 
you start from a very different epistemology and that brings in a whole different set of questions when you're talking about multiculturalism, when you're talking about solidarity within research, when you're talking about what, what is rigidity in terms of positivism or use or helpfulness to the movement. So that's exciting also.